How's it going guys? Today we're going to be reacting to Paul Joseph Watson again, Bizarre Beyond Belief. This guy is the GOAT. We say it every time, but he genuinely is. He gives us basically all the news that's going on. Let's get into it. Unspeakable horror in Nashville, Tennessee after a transgender identified shooter killed three children and three adults at a private Christian school. Jesus Christ. You know, the fact that he said transgender shooter tells me that that has that something person has to mental do with problems. it. That person has no, no. mental issues. Well, that, and then that that's going to have something to do with it. And I'm yeah. Really Really not. Let's just wait it up. I'm, I'm already getting kind of mad, bro. And while the nightmarish reality of what happened is difficult to process, the reaction by many to the outrage was bizarre beyond belief. I'm amongst what could them. They possibly the president. Say? Yeah, what are you gonna say? Well, can... she's probably dealing with mental issues. There's no way they're gonna defend it. You can't. You can't defend that. Well, maybe at if she all. wasn't Does bullied it... when she was young, she wouldn't have done it. I don't care if you're bullied or anything. Like shot three you people. You can't. You can't defend it. Burn kids, hell, you fucking kids, bitch. Kids bro. of the United. United States, who preceded his words about the tragedy by going on a weird rambling tangent about chocolate chip ice cream. Wait, what? Wait, what? Prime amongst them, the President of the United States, who preceded his words about the tragedy by going on a weird rambling tangent about chocolate chip ice cream. <laughs> Bro, you can't even what? like, you, like I, I, I know you're, I know you're trying not to laugh, but no. I can't even laugh. Going off it's topic. so embarrassing. We need to. It's not even funny anymore. How do you like the? the I know it's funny, bro. This some 82 year old president of the free world, the most powerful country in the world, was talking about a school shooting and then started talking about fucking ice cream. What kind of topics was that? I know it's like trying to. I know it sounds funny, but that's then you like just what. Think about it, guys. It's, what? I know it's funny at the start, but just fucking think about it. You know, it. He, he probably didn't switch the topic. He probably forgot what he's talking about. You know what? Uh, uh, I want some ice cream right now. Ice cream. Where's my red button? <laughs> ice cream. Ice cream. My name is Joe Biden. <laughs> I'm Dr. Joe Biden's husband. <laughs> and I ate Jenny's ice cream, chocolate chip. <laughs> I came down because I heard there was chocolate chip ice cream. <laughs> Did he say this after like the school shooting? Like, was it was that what this was about before? He was like, "I am Joe Biden. I am married to Dr. Joe Biden, or whatever the fuck." Jill Biden. I like chocolate chip. Yeah, I can't. I can't chocolate. Don't chocolate. Even chocolate. This is this is fucking president. This is the president. He's retarded. I have a whole refrigerator full upstairs. You think I'm kidding? I'm not. The real outrage, though, was oh, that the psychotic, Bro. depraved child killers' pronouns had been disrespected. Five times CNN misgendered, no correction. A mass shooting is horrible. Misgendering does not make anything better. Bro! Oh, fuck. Oh. oh my god! Karen! I know Karens are notorious for Fucking. complaining about trivial things, but complaining about a mass shooter's feelings being hurt. Truly. Beyond the pale. She wasn't finished. Update. It seems like maybe there's plenty of confusion about whether or not the shooter is a transgender man or woman. And finding Shut out that the, the police there don't know how to use the right words does not shock me. But mixing genders in the same story is still a problem. Yeah, so grieving parents Sometimes have just lost be okay their infant children. But your overriding concern is that police remain politically correct in respecting the memory of the killer. Many responded with this Norm MacDonald bit about... I what terrifies me is if ISIS were to detonate a nuclear device and kill 50 million Americans. Imagine the backlash against peaceful mu Muslims. What? Wait, wait, wait. What terrifies me is if ISIS were to detonate a nuclear device to kill 50 million Americans, imagine the backlash against peaceful Muslims. What the fuck? In respecting the memory of the killer. Many responded with this Norm MacDonald bit about ISIS detonating a nuclear device that kills 50 million Americans, and then people on Twitter worrying about Islamophobia. Yeah, that, okay, sorry. Norm MacDonald, if you don't know, he's a comedian. So right. what he meant by that is, and, and I, I didn't understand it because I'm an idiot, but basically what he's talking about is he's making fun of the people like he killed, they killed 50 million Americans and their first thought is, but, but what I hate is the fact that now they're going to be making fun of the peaceful Muslims. 50 million people just died. And, and so it's the same thing. Three Christian kids, infants just died. And the first thing that this retard is talking about is, Mr. what about the pronouns? Oh, dude. Fucking weird. Get I... the fuck out of here. Just like clockwork. Who police say identifies as transgender. That news has all already prompted some attacks against the trans community. I am concerned about how um, opposition and people who are 
Go to the gym, fat ass. Uh, Anti-trans, we'll try to spin this. Concern about tweets like this from GOP Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene. But not to be outdone, this galaxy brain chimed in. Another day, another mass shooting. The shooter has been identified by his dead name. It appears he used he, him pronouns and was a former student of the school. Of course, MSM and the LEO is discussing the issue and misgendering the murderer. I'm sad and angry on so many levels. That's a parody. You can't seriously say things like this. I can't take it seriously. I can't believe it. There's no way that somebody goes on Twitter and genuinely believes that misgender a fucking murderer who killed three infant Christian children at a school is important. I can't. I, I just don't believe it. Yeah. You're sad and angry on so many levels. And one of those levels is being mad at the crazed murderer being dead named. No mention of the dead kids. Someone violated your demented language police rules and that's why you're sad and angry. And it wasn't just alphabet individuals responding like this. The Transgender Resistance Network released an entire statement arguing that there were two tragic yesterday, one being the shooting, the other being the shooter's life being made difficult by anti-trans legislation and right-wing personalities. Oh, will someone think of Don't the make his life difficult. Poor Fucking mass murderer who just shot him, the elementary what? school. What on earth is wrong with you? This whole thing reads like a justification of an Islamic terror attack. Hate has consequences. The consequence- You can't make it up! Like, who is talking like this? This is like some, like, some fucking- yeah, Exactly as he said, like, being like, you know, you were mean to Muslims, you you did call them fucking whatever racist word and that justifies them blowing up a school like are you s this stupid like there's no justification for all this stuff and i hate to use always that example but that's the example that people bandwagon to but it could be anything you could say oh yeah you said the n-word to that guy so he had the right to shoot you like no this is not how things work Misgendering someone does not mean they can go into a school and fucking shoot everybody. And I guarantee that's not why he shot everybody. He didn't, he didn't go in there and shoot everybody because he got bullied. He has a mental illness. The children. The whole statement attempts to justify the consequences. Then lo and behold, we remind the news media to respect the self-identified no. pronouns of transgender individuals. Including the killer who identified as nope. he, him. I identify she as trans. If you don't retard. accept that, then you're a bigot. Sure. The shooter identified as trans. Gender doesn't retard. matter. Yeah, don't expect the gun control debate to advance much further either. For their part, the media scrambled to cover the story while not knowing which pitfall to avoid. Describe the shooter as a man, satiating the trans activists by acknowledging that the culprit was a transgender, or try to bury the transgender aspect of the story entirely by referring to the killer as her biological gender but then upsetting the trans activists. The result was a garbled mess. BBC News confusion about gender identity of shooter. The New York Times appeared to apologize on behalf of Nashville. There How? was confusion later on Monday about the gender identity. Officials had used she and her to refer to the suspect who according to social media posts and LinkedIn profile appeared to identify as a man in recent months. Incredible. I don't give a fuck what she is. Yeah. Authorities for Doesn't referring matter. to the killer, a biological woman as she, her, which was seemingly an effort to distract from the fact that the NYT itself had initially described the shooter as a woman. USA Today also scolded officials for initially misidentifying. Police on Monday afternoon said that the shooter was a transgender man. Officials had initially but... misgendered the gender. Oh my god, this is the most disgusting and insane tweet I've ever seen from the media from a media organization. And that is certainly saying a lot. Big up, Matt. Yeah, these people are fucking crazy. Identifying the gender of the shooter. While Newsweek chose to avoid the quagmire altogether by simply blaming guns, bans on drag queen shows, and gender-affirming care. Note how in that instance they're both teasing the killer's motive. A violent backlash against a bill passed in Tennessee earlier this month which bans puberty blockers and hormone treatments being given to children. A completely reasonable measure. As well as restrictions on adult-oriented drag shows taking place on public property. But then in the same sentence, almost attempting to just Drag shows and gender-affirming care for minors were banned in Tennessee this month, while assault weapons remain legal. Justify <clears throat> that motive. Truly sick stuff. ABC News anchor Terry Moran was also accused of doing something similar. Audrey Hill was a, identified herself as a transgender person. Uh, it, state of Tennessee earlier this month passed and the governor signed a bill that banned transgender medical care for minors, as well as uh, a law that prohibited adult entertainment, including male and female impersonators, after a series of drag show controversies in that state. The Washington Post contributed... What the there was a mass murderer who there was a there was a trans murderer who killed three people. And in the same month they banned hormone blockers. So you can almost see why she did it. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? What are you talking about? Like, I don't I'm so fed up, blood. People are 
Three people are actually dead. Three kids are dead. This is, like, it's not even sad. It's just fucking embarrassing. Like, what can I even say at this point? Three little kids at a Christian school were killed because some fucking mentally deranged retard walked in there with a fucking rifle and shot them because she's deluded. She doesn't know what's going on. She identifies as a man, then a woman, then a fucking penguin like, next because she's that? mentally deranged. Why does and we that have to speak matter? up on this, guys. I know, like, it's taboo. People don't like talking about this. Shouldn't say those words. But you have to be blunt. I'm sick of all this, well, she should shouldn't have done it, but respect the pronouns. No, I'm sick of this fucking bollocks, man. Where's the backbone in fucking society? When is somebody gonna stand up and say, do something, man? It's crazy that her being transgender is even being brought up, because who who the fuck cares? cares yeah, she killed fucking you're, three people. You're not a human. You're a fucking murderer. You're a yeah. child murderer. That Your your human rights are yeah, taken. They They're should gone. fucking... They're non-existent. You should get the death penalty. Don't respect your fucking pronouns. even thanked some ghouls who said they understood the outrage of the shooting for targeting a religious indoctrination center. Another journalist Wait, appeared what? to- I don't condone Audrey Hale's actions, though I understand their outrage against an intolerant state that brainwashes ch- You understand! Do you not get how bad it is? Through religious indoctrination, the reality is humans still identified as that child attending that school and carried the pain. This is as deep as it gets. Like, like, legit! Like, oh man, just keep it the shooter for targeting a religious indoctrination center. Another journalist appeared to suggest the Daily Wire bore some responsibility. It was an absolute shit show across the board. And no, I'm not gonna resolve to crass political point scoring like the left does whenever an individual from a group that they hate white people christians men in general does something outrageous but you've got to ask serious questions when a group that represents such a tiny fraction of the population the colorado springs shooter identified as non-binary the denver shooter identified as trans the aberdeen shooter identified as trans the nashville shooter identified as trans one thing is very clear the modern trans movement is radicalizing activists into terrorists especially striking when you look at the population stats no other group per capita is committing more terrorism than trans and non-binary people. And guys, I'm just going to say it. It's because these people have mental illnesses. It's why they're non-binary or trans in the first fucking place. And this is why they're doing this stuff. And what we're doing is we're doing what they did in fucking 1936. It's called appeasement. When Hitler took the Rhineland, they said it's okay. When Hitler took Austria, they said it's okay. When Hitler took the Sudetenland, they said it's okay. When he took all of Czechoslovakia, they said it's okay. When he turned it in Slovakia into a puppet state, they said it's okay. They only stepped in after three years years of doing this shit when they declared war in Poland okay three years in which time he had built his military over to over a million men had had gone to um, extra conscription he was conscripting every man had built up his military to crazy proportions had so many fighter jets and had built up enough industry to mass murder the Jews be able to mass murder the gypsies be able to mass murder the fucking uh, disabled people community be able to do whatever the whatever they want because they industrialized war to an extent we had never seen and this is exactly what this is when you give person what is it when you give someone a bit they take a bunch and that's what it is you can't you have to cut the line, guys. Cut the fucking line. Stop it. Okay, you identify as trans, okay. Oh, you want me to say your pronouns? Okay. Well, you shot people, but still respect their pronouns. No, 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 no. Cut the line, it's done. Cut the line. We need to stop, appe it's appeasement. Stop, 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 stop. It needs to stop. This is a, this is getting really like you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, like that's crazy to think that we live in this world that does this shit. Like, like we don't see it around in our lives. We don't see listen, this shit. It's not crazy that, that somebody shoots someone. That's not crazy. That's life. People shoot people. The the reaction the people from the public to give some kind of respect to the person that shot is, the kids is completely like, outrageous. What? Like, and I'm not, listen, I'm not saying that it's not crazy to shoot people, of course, and that person should get the death penalty. But what I'm saying is, some people are going to shoot people, it's never going to go away, people are going to kill people, it's never going to go away. It's always been there, it's never going to stop, okay? But what can stop is these retards getting a, a, a bunch of likes for saying the dumbest shit you've ever heard in your entire life. Seems to be more and more susceptible to radicalization than ever before. We saw the appalling treatment that trans activists dished out to Posey Parker in New Zealand, a British woman who for the crime of saying a woman is an adult female was harassed, mobbed and assaulted in a frenzied attack during which Parker said she feared for her life. <laughs> That mob had behaved similarly under the guise of advancing a right-wing political agenda. A woman is an adult human female. 
Watch out, you might get jumped, bro. Come on, there you go. Ender. You really don't need me to tell you what the media narrative would have been. If you'd like to donate like to the to families the of the victims of this horrendous see event, leave happens. a link below. That's him, but this is, I just can't even talk about this anymore. This is super sad. Um, sorry for the losses of the victims. Obviously, that's the most important thing right now. Condolences to those that are lost. But besides that, this needs to fucking change, bro. This is just... Yeah, the woman who caused the shooting should be in permanent jail. Fucking rotting in there. Who, At like, least. Should be executed. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like executed is like an easy way out. I want her to rot in jail. I think that... Yeah, would, that'd be I just better. don't believe in paying $50,000 a year to host, give someone food, and give someone a place to live. And spend... And give them chump from the chum bucket. Give someone one point five. <laughs> spend $1.5 million to keep someone alive when that tax money can go towards the poor or go towards somewhere else where it's more important. I think we get these fucking dickheads out of the world. Who cares if it's, oh, it's, you shouldn't be tortured or whatever. I don't care. Just get them out. Get them gone. Get these idiots gone. On. Maybe cut off all their fingers while you just torture them. <laughs> do what you need to do. Cut, cut off all their fingers. But yeah, like, I, I don't know. This is just sick, man. Let us know your opinion in the comments, guys. I know this was kind of a hard video to do because it's like, yeah, crazy topic. But yeah, let us know your opinion, guys. Thanks for watching.